Okay, introducing a Jeep uh, Wrangler 2014. We end up installing the uh, Excalibur car link alarm so you can control it from your phone, arm it, disarm it, lock it, unlock the doors anywhere in the world. It has a GPS. Um, and then we also gave her the remote start so she can remote start this Jeep from anywhere in the world. I'm gonna go ahead and disarm the alarm. Okay, unlocks all the doors. You get in, close the door. I'm gonna hit lock by hitting lock on the remote control. It gives you a length of a football field that you can do the remote control lock and unlock in case you're on the phone and you don't want to use the app. Uh, remote start, press this one time. Car will crank right up. I, know, I should change my wording and say the Jeep cranks right up. Okay, I'm gonna arm that system, hit lock. You can arm it if you decide you don't want to go anywhere and if you want to disengage the alarm. Okay, when you get back in, you can turn it off. Okay, and then basically uh, what you do is uh, you, instead of, if you push the foot on the brake, there's a remote start shuts off, just turn the key forward, push the foot on the brake, and then you can take off and drive away with the Jeep. Okay, and then when you turn off the Jeep, everything is back to the normal position, off. Uh, of course, uh, we gave it the self-arming, so when you close the door, it gives you a chirp, letting you know that the alarm is going to arm in 30 seconds and lock the doors. Uh, not a big fan of uh, self-arming, but the customer wanted it that way uh, in case uh, she forgets to arm the system and will automatically arm and lock the doors. She can probably get away without self-arming because in the event that she locks her keys inside, she ho hopefully she'll have her phone on top of her and she can hit the app right here and, dis uh, and disarm the, uh, the system. I'm going to go ahead and unlock. You want to go in there? You can't see it. Yeah, unlocks the doors. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hit lock on the app again. That will lock the doors. Okay. Has a little lag depending on the area you are and your cell coverage and depending on your cell phone provider. Uh, to track the vehicle, you can hit the little whirl in the center. And now this gives you all the alerts when the alarm fires off. I'm going to go ahead and track it. And it'll give you the map should pop up right away and letting you know where the vehicle is at. Uh, it comes with the GPS that's free of charge. Um, this particular system. Uh, and then of course if the alarm fires off. I'm going to show you guys the, the text message coming in. I'm going to go ahead and bang on the glass. You can see her text message arrived on the top. It uh, lets you know that the alarm was triggered by shock sensor. And if somebody opens the door, you'll get a text that letting you know that the alarm was triggered by uh, door opening. Uh, it's pretty much very detailed. You can even remote start the car. Let's say you're in Hawaii on vacation and you haven't started the Jeep over a week. You don't want to come back and have a dead battery. Uh, you can hit lock, I mean start right here. And then uh, I'll crank the Jeep right up. Jeep started by remote control. Okay, uh, that's basically it. I mean, this is the fully uh, the full package: remote start, lock and unlock. It comes with the app. Uh, you can arm and disarm the alarm from the phone. You can use the remote control, remote start. All uh, the text alert lets you know what's going on with the vehicle. GPS. This what's installed here in Miami, Florida, by Auto Alarm Specialist in a 2014 Jeep Wrangler. Thank you for watching this video.